Now to a group of Los Angeles police officers under investigation tonight accused of using excessive force during the arrest of a 34-year-old woman. The incident happened in the parking lot of a Del Taco in Pacoima last week after a traffic stop. KTLA's Carolyn Costello live at LAPD headquarters downtown. Carolyn? Well, Micah, this woman's attorneys say this began when the officers tried to pull the woman over because they thought she was talking on her cell phone. Uh, this incident quickly turned violent. Uh, in the video you are about to see, we see these two male officers slam this five-foot, four-inch tall woman to the ground twice. One of those times, she is in handcuffs. Officers began speaking to the woman outside her car in a Del Taco parking lot in Tahunga. It is unclear why, but suddenly the officers take the woman down, slamming the five foot four, 34 year old mother to the ground. They then take the woman over to their patrol car. Now, while she is in handcuffs, one of the male officers grabs her again and slams her to the ground. After placing her in the back seat of the patrol car, it appears the officers give each other a fist bump, a kind of high five. The woman, Michelle Jordan, mother to a toddler and a registered nurse, suffers bruises and scrapes to her face and shoulder. She also faces charges of resisting arrest. But tonight, her lawyers say this video proves the only legitimate criminal charges to be brought are against the LAPD officers who made this brutal arrest. Lately, we've all seen the LAPD try to portray an image of, of a kinder, gentler Los Angeles Police Department. And when the cameras are on them, they... They stand up to that standard. Unfortunately, when they don't think that the cameras are in front of them, you get what we have today, uh, an abuse of a person's civil rights for no apparent reason, uh, unjustified use of force, um, and a celebratory, you know, congratulatory fist bump after they've done their deed. Well, if a civilian body slammed a woman, no matter the circumstances, if she had said something she shouldn't have said, slam a defenseless woman, they would go to jail. They would face prosecution. I expect the LAPD to be held to the same standards as we are. And we are told tonight that these two officers have been placed on desk duty while the department's internal affairs department investigates. Chief Charlie Beck released a statement tonight uh, saying that the officer's statements in addition to the video raises serious concerns for him. He says the department will investigate thoroughly and the officers will be held accountable. Reporting live from downtown Los Angeles, Carolyn Costello, KTLA 5 News.